humongous in size, comfortable enough for seven adults and packed to the gills with tech. That's what the Gloucester has always been. But with this Blackstorm edition, it looks like something that's fit for a mafia boss to roll around in. The Gloucester has been on sale in India for the better part of three and a half years now. And Blackstorm is something like the name would suggest, which is an all-black treatment along with some red accents. So should you consider adding one to your garage? And is it better than its longtime arch nemesis, the Fortuner? Let's find out. You can immediately make out a Blackstorm from the front by this red lip that sits here. Morris Garage's text in all black and you get a really cool red accent inside the headlights this time around. The Blackstorm gets some smartly designed 19-inch alloys in a gloss black finish along with red brick calipers for all the four wheels. In profile, the Gloucester remains a gargantuan-sized SUV. The door handles, however, are still in chrome and so is the footboard, which is a requirement to get inside the car, which we will come to in a bit. An interesting detail that MG has given the Blackstorm is this fuel filler cap you see, which says Morris Garages, but that's not the interesting part. If you look closely, it has this beautiful knurled texture, which is very interesting, and you rarely see automakers giving such attention to detail. This MG logo at the back, along with this chrome strip, is one of the very few parts in the exterior that has not been blacked out. What has been blacked out, though, is this Gloucester text, and I much prefer it to the bright chrome on the standard car. Again, Red accent on the lower bumper and the fake exhaust tips still remain in chrome, which I would have liked to see blacked out. Power operated boot as expected. However, it does open a little aggressively at the start. And then you see a fair amount of boot space, which could act as a nice picnic table. The Gloucester gets a 60-40 split third row. So when you need to haul something from the farmhouse or you're doing a quick airport run, you get a humongous boot, as you can see. Now we are the interior of the MG Gloucester Blackstorm. And as on the exterior, you get the all-black treatment on the interior as well. These massive doors are covered in leather, which has a diamond pattern on it. Next up, let's come to the seats, or rather thrones, because these are really, really big and they have adjustment in every way you can think of. So getting the right driving position, I suspect that's a walk in the park. This steering wheel gets red stitching on the inside, and for the size of the car, it's rather small. It feels like something you got from an Aster. Right at the center here is this huge touchscreen infotainment system. And back then when the car came out in 2020, it was cutting edge. Now too, it's a nice unit. However, as we just noticed, I'm touching it, it's not responding. There, it just responded, so it's being a little laggy. However, it might be a question of a software update or two, and it'll get the job done. In the center here, you get these aircon vents surrounded by the silver insert. Now, I would have liked to see some red inserts like they did on the exterior, which would have tied it in better with the interior. However, viewed in seclusion, this is a very pretty interior. In the center here, you get this gear selector, which reminds me of the old ones from BMW, Honestly, I prefer those, so this really feels nice and tactile. You get a, a rotary knob here to select your drive modes, and you get a bunch of off-road modes too. So in case you want to go off-roading with your Gloucester, it is a pretty capable SUV. Two cup holders in the center with a silver surround. And then one of my favorite bits of the Gloucester is this huge center armrest, which opens from both the sides. So, it's just a neat little touch which makes life a little bit easier. On your screen right now is the feature list of the 2024 Gloucester. To sum it up, it's got all that it needs and then some. Now we are in the back seat of the 2024 Gloucester Blackstorm, and this is a seat of interest for many, as many of its potential buyers are in fact chauffeur driven. So, what's it like if you're 5 foot 8 inches in height and so is your chauffeur? Well, I've got plenty of knee room. Under thigh support is particularly impressive 
and headroom is definitely not an issue, even for someone a couple of inches taller. Seat width is plenty as well, and you get a centre armrest with storage. Seat cushioning is pretty spot on as well, and a highlight of the rear seat section is you get a separate third climate zone all for yourself. USB A type port along with a 12 volt socket, so charging needs again are taken care of. Now, to get into the third row, it's not the easiest of operations. So, first you flip this forward and then you can push this seat all the way in front. So, you get a small aperture to get into the third row. Now, I was in the back of a Gloucester the last time in November 2020 when I was uh, 10 years old and quite a bit shorter. And that time, I remember being blown away by the amount of space on the back seat. And now as well, it still remains a pretty spacious interior. So uh, the second row is set to the rearmost position, 5 foot 8 inches in height. And I can still pretty comfortably sit here. Yes, I do sit knees up, but still way lesser than on some other cars. Headroom is plenty as the roof is slightly scooped out. And I have some nice creature comforts. I have a speaker here at the back. So the music being played will be heard here clearly, you won't feel neglected. Two small cup holders, seat belts, along with a window so you won't feel claustrophobic either. And I could genuinely sit here comfortably for a few hours. A very useful feature is that this hood gets hydraulic struts. Otherwise, opening a hood of this size would have been an absolute workout. As for the engine, you get a 2-litre twin-turbo diesel engine. Yes, that's right. This diesel has two turbos, which produces 212 horsepower and a very healthy 478 newton meters of torque. This comes mated to an 8 speed torque converter automatic transmission. In terms of pricing, there are two variants you get with the Gloucester Blackstorm. You also get the options of 6 or 7 seats, both which remain at the same price. So the 4x2 variant comes in at 41.05 lakh rupees. And the, four, uh, and the 4x4 variant comes in at 43.87 lakh rupees, ex showroom India. My final verdict the MG Gloucester Blackstorm has some very plush and spacious interiors. Its tech is still best in its class. And in my opinion, the Blackstorm looks proper gangster. So if you're looking for a full size body on frame seven seater SUV, it should definitely be amongst your top contenders. As for Fortuna versus Gloucester, that will always remain a debate. And until the endeavor hits our shows, my heart and head says Gloucester. Follow me on Instagram at Vivance underscore wheels. And if you like this video, please don't forget to smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and click on the bell icon to never miss any of my new uploads. Humongous in size, comfortable enough for seven adults, and why am I forgetting? So the exterior that has not been blacked out. What has though is this Gloucester Tech text. Tech. The Gloucester gets a 60-40 split third row. So when you need to haul something from the farmhouse, or you're doing a is that this hood gets hydraulic struts. Otherwise, and I lost the latch. Okay, three tech. Perfect. Yes, finally. <laughs>